G'day football fans and welcome back to Brentford to Big Time. Today we are taking on Chelsea. It is time to take on one of the big boys here in a video. I mean, we've we've done basically everyone now, haven't we? I mean, since being at Manchester City, we have anyway. Anyway, um, they're another one of the top sides. We're up there. We're, we're fighting for it. We're doing a decent job of it, but um, we're definitely a, a little dependent. Um, Erling Haaland's pretty good. Let's get into it. Before we get into it, make sure you do leave us that like down below, subscribe if you're new around here, comment what you think of the video, what you think, uh, I don't know, of tactics, Helen Harlan's greatness, all of that stuff. Um, let me know what you'd like to see from me in the channel, um, more Football Manager experiments, series, um, more just talking about football. If, you, if you're if you here from the uh, end of season like ranking video that we've done the other day, um, or whatever it is, let me know. Um, anyway, let's get into it. So the transfer window has now ended. Of course, we did only do the two deals. You can see, of course, Jeremy Pino, and then uh, previously we got uh, Helmut Isella in as well. In terms of uh, the outgoings, if we search or filter it by the most recent, Usman Dembele did get his loan away. He's gone to Shakhtar for the last year of his Manchester City contract. Um, he's doing pretty well. Three goals in eight games. He'd, I'm sure he's happy with that, um, but don't care. Um, then a bunch of just people out on loans, including Denilson Carpentero, of course, who was in the first team picture last year. He scored two goals in 10 games in uh, in league on with St. Etienne. Maybe that's where we'll end up in when we go to France. Who knows? That has then left the squad looking like this. We've got, of course, Trafford and Edison as our two goalkeepers. Central defenders, we've got, I mean, too many, definitely, but um, I think we're possibly also shorter midfielder, maybe. So it sort of evens out in the end. Um, so we've got Ostergaard, Diaz, Murato, Araujo, and Timber as our centre-back options. Right-back options, uh, Max Ahrens and Mickey Bradley. Left-backs are uh, Lukanets and Joad Bucha here. Um, then holding midfielders, I, I think that's where we only really have the one option. Um, it, it is um, Ugarte. Um, Danilo obviously can play there, but most of the time when I play someone in place of Ugarte, it's been Murato. Um, like those three starts and 10 appearances on the bench. Most of them have been at holding midfield. Um, then ahead of him in the um, advanced playmaker sort of role, that's where I play Danilo, that's where I play Joshua Kimmich. Um, and then in the uh, Mazzala role, that's Silver and Isella. Ahead of them, on the wings, it is Foden, Pino, Ndala and Perea. Perea, unfortunately, he's fractured his leg, so he's going to be out for a little while yet, yeah, unfortunately. Realised I was... Uh, covering some of the names, so I thought I'd move on over. Um, anyway, so those are the wide options. Up front, the options are Haaland and Makoko, um, with David Essien, uh, Essien, I guess, um, just a youth in, uh, English fellow that's come through the um, academy and just got him sitting in the first team so that he can, you know, learn from the best and, and get in the mentoring groups because he looks looks pretty damn decent, doesn't he? Um, Erling Haaland, pretty, pretty brilliant. Um, if you look at his history, like, Look, 13 appearances, one off the bench, 23 goals. Um, he did score um, in the, I don't know if it, I think Continental covers the um, Club World Cup. He's got 11 goals in six games in Continental appearance, in uh, Continental competitions, I should say. Um, and then in the league, he's got 10 goals in six appearances. Very, very good season so far for Erling. Unfortunately, though, with Makoko, look, he's... He is very good. Obviously, very, very good. He's wanted by, I think it's Tottenham. Yeah, Tottenham wanting him. Um, four goals in the Premier League so far. But if you look at how we have gone since you were last here, of course, the last uh, game in a video would have been the Milan video, or Milan came here, rather. A um, few things. Um, for instance, here against West Ham, uh, you can't quite see, but uh, Makoko started. D uh, we were down. We brought on Erling Haaland. He got us an equaliser. That's the general theme of how it goes. Let's see. Burnley Burnley was an Erling Haaland game. We'll give him that. Milan, Erling Haaland game. All right. Maybe it isn't just an Erling Haaland thing. There we go. Makoko, nil all. Makoko starts, nil all. Um, Tottenham, Makoko starts. We lose 2-1. It's a th I think it might be a thing. Um, I think at this point, for those two games, Erling Haaland had a bit of an injury. Yeah, you can see it uh, just here. He had a bit of an injury. I don't really know what he had but he's back fit now and that's all that matters really the results as a whole though obviously you can see them if you're looking but um if you're listening g'day also um the results have been a 6-2 win to start the season over leicester city four goals for erling Haaland, one for Foden, one for silver then a 2-1 win over our old side uh brentford thanks to Haaland and coco eklund camp getting one back there um eklund camp weirdly enough he 
was loaned out last season. If you look at his... Oh my God, he's been loaned out again. Yeah, he was loaned out to Batiste last season. He's played one game in the Premier League and it was that game against us where he scored a penalty and then they've loaned him out again. I don't understand it. But then if you go to Brentford... Um, where was he? Oh, he was in the favoured personnel. He's gone now. Whatever. Anyway, moving on. I don't know why they're doing it. What are you doing? Like, he's clearly... He's got to be one of their better players because he is very good. He's 29 now and, you know, maybe, you know, re definitely reached a, a certain ceiling. But um, what, are, what are they doing? They came 17th last year. They needed him. Um, lost 2-1, of course, to Tottenham. Dwight McNeil getting two late goals there. Either side of an Oscar Perea second yellow card. Nil against Newcastle. That's actually, like, not a bad result. Of course, we would have wanted to beat them. Um, and, you know, Erlen Haaland being there may have made the difference, but... At this point in time, Newcastle are actually leading the league, I think. Um, it's between Newcastle and Tottenham at the top, and I think we're either equal on points or like a point or two behind. We'll, I'll show you in a tick. Anyway, um, then Everton we beat 3-2, two, 2 for Makoko on this occasion, and 1 for Perea. Um, then a one-all draw against uh, Pep Guardiola's former side, Milan. His current side is Chelsea. So um, then a 4-0 win over Crystal Palace, all four for Erling Haaland, 6-2 over Hull City, and Dala, two for Makoko, one for Danilo, Timber, and Helmut Isela. 4 1 then over uh, Aston Villa, two for Foden. A very late couple of goals there for Makoko and Murato. Before we then went in the Champions League and beat Porto 5 damn nil. What a result. A couple of great results in the Champions League. I mean, one all against AC Milan, not too bad of a result. I'm okay with that. Um, obviously, you'd like to win your home games, but uh, again, when you look at the types of sides we do have in the Champions League, like you know, Dort we've got here who Dortmund, PSG, Gladbach, Besiktas, um, Porto, and Milan. Is that all? No. Then we've got Ludogorets and Juventus. I'm fine with drawing that. Like drawing that, but then we've absolutely belted Porto 5-0 before beating Besiktas then 6-0, a hat trick for uh, Erling Haaland, which I know we've skipped a couple of games, but we've so we've beaten Besiktas and um Porto by an average of about eleven goals on aggregate. Um Tom so I'm pretty okay with drawing that one against Milan. I mean, if we say we lose to PSG and Juventus, we're still fine and we're getting through. Um, we're definitely going to qualify, I think. Um, I don't know if we're going to get in the top eight, but I mean, results against PSG and Juventus will probably help us out. Anyway, where were we up to? We were up to probably Porto, where it was two for Pino, one for Haaland, two for Perea. Then a loss to Burnley, where we just didn't play well, and the uh, the red card for Danilo did not help. After 36 minutes, it very much changed how he had to play. I very much did go to, yeah, trying to hold them off. And, and this Burnley side does play quite well. Um, I don't know who their coach is, um, Bruno Lage. Um, they have some very, very good players. Um, if you look up front, this fella, Igor Henrique, he's wanted by United. He's worth only 78 million, but 22 years old, very, very good. Look at these, the mentals are insane for a 22 year old. The mentals are ridiculous because they're going to get better and better and better as he gets older. Physicals, you know, maybe not elite level, but but solid, pretty damn good. Uh, same can probably be said about um, his finishing, um, which is solid, good enough, but you know, probably probably not quite elite level um, yet. Anyway, he's twenty-two. He's, he's got room to go. He's worth seventy-eight million, which is probably worth a pop if you are one of those top sides. Because I mean, rather than paying you know four hundred million for Erling Haaland. Might be pretty decent. Um, there was someone else they had that was really good. I mean, Alex Scott, of course. I mean, football manager players all around know how good he gets. Um, who else? Who's worth money? Ray Hadland? No, that's not him. Oh, this is our loan, our Australian loanee, um, Costas Katagas. K K K I don't know how to say it, honestly. Um, he's not having a great time of it. One assist in seven games, and he's having in 6.53, but he's playing at Burnley, so he's not going to ever have a wonderful time out. Um, we then beat Liverpool 3-2. It looks even closer than it was. They got, um, I mean, we extended our lead to 3-1 in the 86th, and they got one back in the 89th. Um, goals for Foden, two for Perea prior to the, the leg break. Um, then, of course, this result again for Schick Pass, which we've already been through. The one all against West Ham, which is disappointing. I With Arsenal and Chelsea coming up in the, the week after that, excuse me, with the one-all draw, that was horrible. Um, with the one-all draw against West Ham, I am disappointed. I mean, I did rest people. I, I decided that, you know, I wanted to beat Arsenal, which we did thanks to Haaland um, and a couple of goals from Ndala and Danilo. Um, and then I wanted people to also be fit for Chelsea. So for the West Ham game, I did start, as you can see here, like Makoko started, Ndala started, we rested 
from the start anyway. Um, Harland and, and, and Jeremy Pino um, didn't work out. We didn't play well, and it, it took the 89th minute for Erling Haaland to equalise to get us anything out of the game. We've beaten Arsenal, though, and for the Carabao Cup, I think we are looking pretty good because if you look at the sides that have been knocked out here, um, like United have been knocked out, Arsenal, Liverpool have been knocked out, um, Chelsea's nowhere to be seen, so they're already gone. Um, so the, the sides that are left in the competition, like I think in the next round we've got Leeds, um, but then it's like Tottenham and Newcastle are the other like top, top teams that we'd have to get through, um, which if we look at the league table, um, it's Aston Villa actually, not Tottenham. Are that what? Is that is that true? Have they always been up there? That's bizarre. Tottenham, Tottenham are fifth. Okay, so it's yeah, anyway. Aston Villa, they also actually um, maybe that's what I was thinking about with Burnley. They actually have a couple of real superstar players here. Uh, Yazid Ben Ben Yahia Ben Yahia. I don't know how to say that. Twenty one year old Algerian perfectionist. He looks very very good, doesn't he? Nine goals in eleven games this season. In his first season last season, he got nineteen goals in the league. Twenty two in all competitions after a good you know, early career with Nons. Um, and then uh, Yelverton, um, which is a great name he, for for an Irish fella, Franco Yelverton. Um, he's wanted by Chelsea now. He looks very good as well. He's 21 years old. Got a great future ahead of him, really. Then um, Jocelyn Fernandez uh, is 26 years old, but looking very, very good for a winger, pretty elite. Then someone named Jose Maria Galindo, another winger, which, you know, less exciting than the others, but 20 years old. Pretty decent, just needs to learn how to put the ball in the back of the net, really. Um, they look quite good, and that's probably why they are as high up as they are. Newcastle are the leaders, though, really. They're undefeated. They have a game in hand over Aston Villa, so, you know, they they are the league leaders for a reason. They're very, very good. Looking at the squad, I mean, I know this is a tangent that we need not go on, but I'm here anyway. They've still got David Araya, who we sold to them from um, when we were at of course, Brentford. Um, they've got uh, Garnacho, who's looking very good, of course. They've got uh, Dacho Fofana from Chelsea, they've got, who's looking decent. Um, Raspadori is now there. Of course, we sold him to Tottenham. Tottenham now sold him to Newcastle. Maybe made a mistake there. We'll see. Isak's still there at 30. Uh, Jared Bowen there. Sterling has just been sold there. Other than that, you'd love uh, to have uh, McAllister. Um, Bellanova was like, for a right back, I mean, he's quite, he's decent, yeah. Um, but he was like up there in the player of the year award, like the gold top 50. He was like sixth or something like that. It was stupid. Um, oh, speaking of, um, give me two seconds. I think I have an inbox item to tell you. All right. So it turns out, you know, three weeks or something is too long for me to be able to go back in my inbox. But World Golden Bowl, it has gone to Erling Haaland. This is fourth. Decent. Um, but, you know, under our tutelage for the last, uh, I was going to say 18 months. That's not true. Year and a bit. Um, he's, he's got himself a nice little golden ball scoring 49 goals in 43 appearances over the, uh, 12 month period. So, geez, Shobosly being up there is weird. Anyway, Erling Haaland gets himself a golden ball. And then if you look at the young player of the year, under 21 player of the year, Joad Butcher, our left back. Um, this fella, look, I, I didn't sign him. Whoa, that's not good. I didn't sign him thinking that he would end up being that quality, but I mean, he's just won the under 21 player of the year ahead of, um, some that we signed for. Uh, Napoli, but never got to use him because he uh, got loaned back to Tigris, as you can see down here. He's then come to um, Napoli. I keep getting tripped up by the name. Um, Napoli, um, he's 20 years old, central defender. He looks absolutely elite. I was going to swear then, and that was not going to be good. Um, and then that fella from Aston Villa is third with his weird eyebrows. They all have weird eyebrows. Anyway, let's get through to our lineup. Today against Chelsea, Pep Guardiola's Chelsea. City legend Pep Guardiola. Let's hopefully, you know, welcome him with a nice, I don't know, 4-0 win, something like that. Let's see how we go. And we are back over this side of the screen just to, you know, change things up, keep things fresh, uh, keep you on your toes, I guess. Um, lineup's going to be Edison in goals, Timber, Ostergaard, Diaz, and Butcher across the back line. Going fairly defensive with it because we are against a good side. So we're keeping Timber as a defensive right back. Um, if we're chasing the game later on, we do have... Um, Aaron's and Bradley both on the bench that we can chuck on and go more offensive. Midfield three is Ugarte, Silva, and Kimmich. Our best probably midfield three, although Isela has been performing very, very well in his first season here. 7.31 average, which is better than Bernardo. I'm just going with Bernardo for a big game. Don't want to risk it, that sort of thing. Speaking of risking it, though, uh, Jeremy Pino, who has passed a fitness test. Um, you know, he's short of full fitness, but he's fit. 
he'll do. Um, and then Foden on the right with Haaland up front. Let's get into it. I've talked way too much and I have a feeling I'm getting sick. So my voice keeps going and I keep needing to clear my throat and cough and sneeze and all the things. Um, so that's fun. That'll be fun for me in the coming days, um, I imagine. We'll see. Maybe it's just a... Uh, um, anyway, m moving on. All right, let's head on through. It's actually at Stanford Bridge. I thought we were home for whatever reason. This is the Chelsea side. I do really like this bummer fella. I was looking at him when we were at um, Napoli. He was going to be... Who did we sign? We, we signed Antonio Silva um, at centre back, but I was looking at um, Bamber as well. He was one of the options, but alas, we went with Antonio Silva and he made the world team of the year. You know, for the, the year where he was with us for six... What? Where I was there for six months. So when we left the team, he had six months under whoever the next coach was. I can't remember who it was, honestly. Um, Someone who got sacked. That's all I remember. Um, and it was Antonio Silva made the, the team of the year. So that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that one. Um, Osman didn't. And I don't think Kvarich Shirley did. We do have a corner, though. Kimmich to take. Kimmich swings it in towards the near post. Ish. Oh, Harland off the bar. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's a good start, though. Good start after about just the four minutes. Had a good opportunity for Fana now with a free kick. Enzo. Speaking of Enzo and Chelsea and Ugarte, uh, rumours with them getting Ugarte. Shoot. Oh, no. All right, don't worry. I'll talk about it in a bit. Havertz has just absolutely bent one in off the post. Gorgeous goal. See, that's what he needs to be doing. They don't... I hate that they have him as like a number... Like a proper striker. It doesn't make any sense. Bamba feeds Enzo to Havertz, who comes in off the right-hand side, finds a bit of space, curls it in the top corner. It's beautiful. What can I say, really? Um, Yeah, there are rumours with Chelsea getting Ugarte, and I just think it's a really good move for him because it does free up um, then Enzo Fernandez. Um, That's... My view on it, hopefully they keep hold of Mason Mount because I don't want to see him go to United because I just don't like United getting players that can do things. Um, we're down 1-0 here, though. That's not great. Got not great news. As much as we have, um, you know, performed pretty well and got good results, I think we have been fairly up and down. Um, we haven't really smashed it like we did with Napoli. Um, it, maybe it's a more competitive league or maybe this is, a, you know, best league in the world. I don't know. Um, that's for other people to debate stupidly and then... Uh, I will sit here and just hope that we can get the job done. We were very much better in the second half of last season as well, so maybe maybe that's coming. Um, maybe we need to do something in January. I don't know. We'll see. Um, what we do need to do, though, is pick it up here because it is half an hour in. We haven't had a shot on target. Kukurea now on the ball, tackled by during and Timber, but then gets it back off him. Timber looks for Ostergaard. Oh, Kimmich loses it. Gee, burst to... Dusan Vlaovic, who just thumps it wide. I mean, I feel like Vlaovic has been rumoured there in real life because I feel like his maybe his Juve time isn't going as quite as planned. Point deduction doesn't help that, of course. Um, neither does four shots and none being on target. We haven't had the possession. We are against a Guardiola side. I guess we ought to take that into consideration in some respect. Half time just about, and nothing has happened. We have had a shot on target, and we now have another highlight just as we go in towards half time. Kimmich on the ball gives it to Ugarte, who loses it to Vlaovic, who is absolutely all alone. Why was that? If that's the highlight, I have no idea. Why did we see that? Terrible shot that was never going to go in, you'd hope. Anyway, um, we've got the XG by a mile. Something happened here. Just need to make it count now. Let's pump our fists. Um, no, point fingers. Me better display needed because we are better than that, have performed better than that. Just scored four goals in a half against bloody Arsenal three days ago. Where's that? Fire up. The longer it continues, um, I'll make changes, of course, with substitutes, but also trying to get the ball up the field quicker because um, maybe with a Guardiola side, that's what we will need to do to get beyond them. We'll see. Kind of annoying that Guardiola has gone to Chelsea, but, you know, would have thought there was some sort of, I don't know, loyalty or something like that. I don't know. I think he also just left Milan. Like, he didn't... It wasn't that his um, contract ran out. It wasn't that he got sacked or anything. I think Chelsea just approached him, and he was like, yeah, I'll leave Milan where I've just won a Champions League. All right, 63 minutes in. I can feel my voice is starting to go, which is not good. Let's go to our... Get out of that. Let's go to our subs. Pause the damn thing. 
All right, so Yugate can come off because he's just tired, basically. You see, bloody hell, we're just tired. Everyone's tired. God damn it. So we bring on Makoko, Indala, and Murato. As if... It's not good, is it? Early crosses, pass into space. Transition. Just move the ball quicker. That's the job. That's the, that's the aim of the game. And we're bringing on some fast people. I mean, in Indala and Makoko, fast people. Just got to hope that it actually does something. Timber does need to come off. All right, let's do that now. Timber can come off. We'll move that to an attacking right back roll. Um, and then Timber can come off for Aaron's. And then we've got one sub left. We'll probably do Isela in a few minutes. Um, come on for Bernardo. Could really damn do with a goal though. Do not want to do not want to fall behind in this title race because I don't feel like Newcastle are going to leave like leave a clear path for us and just here you go guys go have a league title. Seventy four minutes in, here's a highlight crossed in, headed away by Murato. Someone I couldn't read that name beats Foden in the air because of course they do. Murato then doesn't get to it. Angelo, that's who that it was. Back to Fafana, lobs it long towards Kukurea, wins the header. Mason Mount in the box, shot blocked. Havertz blocked. Oh, Ruben Diaz clears that one basically off the line. This is not good. Kukurea on the ball again in the box. Oh, brings it towards the middle, towards Soler. Misses. Okay, good. That's We're fine then. Let's make that change. So let's start with the man, man in the mirror. Let's make that change. Let's get Isela on there in place of Bernardo. Hope we can do something. Oh, boy. This is not good. All right. Uh, we've got... Oh, we don't have a shout quite yet. 78 minutes in. Seven shots each. They've had the possession. Foden's had a shocker, which is great news. Oh, here's a highlight. 82nd minute, Dennis Simon, which is weird to see. Loose pass, but Fana does get there. Soler now bringing it forward back to Angelo. Sword Sanchez. Ostergaard got there very well, but then just gives it away with a horrid pass. Goodness me, Colwill now. Back to Dennis Simon. I'm gonna call him Seaman now that he's not on my team. It's Dennis Seaman. Anyway. Uh, Mason Mount, I'm, my voice is absolutely going, and I'm really just wanting this to end, but also us to score. It's just going badly. It's just going badly. Sanchez to Gila. There's my voice going. Mount. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sanchez. Back towards Gila. Whoever Gila is. Soler in heaps of space. Finds Angelo. It's in the back of the net. I don't I don't think that's offside at all. Um, what do we damn do? Oh, my God. I'm just going... Absolutely guns blazing for the rest of whatever we can do. Because um, I think we're now down 2-0 and we're losing the damn game. Why is this happening? It's a goal. It's absolutely a goal. Oh. It's offside. Okay, well, that's good. That's nice. Hey, is he offside? All right, well, yeah, fair enough. He's offside. We'll take that. That's, uh, that's as close as we're getting to a victory this game, apparently. 86th minute now. Foden on a 6.2. Phil Foden now, absolute like world class winger. Comes up against Mark Kukurea and can't do a sausage. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 92nd minute now. Nothing's happening. 93rd. We're not getting anything. This is so dumb. God, I hate playing the Premier League. Premier League sucks. All right, well, back to the drawing board. That was not good enough, and we need to improve if we want to win this league title, which we need to do. The window's running out. The, the time's getting slimmer and slimmer where we can use people like Edison, Bernardo, Kimmich, um, Ruben Diaz. They're all, like, you know, early to mid-30s. Time's running out, and people like Erling Haaland are, you know, about to cross the 30, you know, barrier, which is not that old. It's not that old to be 30. 30 is definitely normal. And fine. But, you know, we we need to get it done. Basically, we need to get it done. Back to the drawing board. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you do leave us that like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Comment what you think of the video. What you think of the tactics. The what, How we can beat goddamn Guardiola prick. Um, that's it. Peace.